Hi there, it's Lindsay here. Today I thought I would just bring you along. I do have a lot of things to do today. I'm not sure how much of it I'm gonna get done. But today I know that I'm going to be checking out all my seeds, planting out my garden. And I know a lot of people have been doing this for a couple weeks. But um, I don't think it's ever too late to start your garden. There's always a way to do it if you wanna do it. Um, maybe a little behind on the eight ball with the broccoli and stuff, but I'm gonna see if I can't catch us up <laughs> and get there. Um, but I know that I'm gonna have to rebuild some beds and while I'm doing that, I want to change some things around in the garden this year and I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, so I'll just show you kind of what I have planned and what my garden looks like now and we're gonna kind of go through that. In this video, I will also be announcing a giveaway of Rebel Garden Seeds. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you all of the details about that. I'll also be updating you on my little mystery illness and what I've been, been doing to combat that and kind of what we have planned for the future. But I'm definitely still not back to 100% yet. So please bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to try to do... Um, what I can and just go slow and figure it out for myself. But right now I'm going to start planning my garden. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you. Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it So this is my current garden These two beds in the back I went ahead and pulled the wood off of them I'm going to rebuild them this year And then leave So I'll have um, six planter beds In total Well seven if you count the kids garden which is an awesome one um, I really liked this structure so I'm gonna pull these trellises and I'll let you know what I'm gonna do with this area and that area there so I've kind of got our general outline of the garden here that I just drew out we've got our greenhouse over here the four planter beds these are currently trellises here and one long trellis here that's where my herbs sit currently, and here's the kids' garden. I really liked having the upper trellis like this. It was much easier to grow things, and especially the tomatoes did really well on the trellis. So I'm replacing my long trellis with uh, beds. One, because that area kind of washes out a bit, and I think that might have been why I was having a little bit of trouble with my tomatoes last year because just none of the treatments or nutrients were really staying in the soil. So if there's beds, then I can definitely add compost and things like that a little bit better and they'll stay where they're at. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm planning right now. Um, I just need to kind of figure up how much wood I'm going to need and then how many cattle panels that I need uh, and see how much this is going to cost me. But now I'm just going to go through my seeds and just make sure I have enough space for everything that I want to plant. I'm going to go through my Rebel Garden seed packs first. If you've been following me over on Instagram, you've probably seen that I've posted about Rebel Gardens a few times. And you may know a little bit about them. But just in case you don't, Rebel Gardens is an American seed company and they provide organic, non-GMO, and heirloom seed collections. So with those heirloom seeds, you'll be able to seed save for next year, which is pretty cool. But they also have fully compostable and recycled packaging, and they're grown, harvested, and packed in the U.S. Rebel Garden's message is growing the rebellion by taking back our health, by taking back control of our food source. But I've partnered with Rebel Gardens to bring you guys a giveaway and not only will one of you win but there will be three winners. You'll be winning any seed collection of your choice. My favorite is probably the vegetable garden because there's 13 different types of seeds and you can really grow your whole pantry right there. 
but all you'll need to do is follow the link in the description box I'll pin it to the top of my comments as well so it's easy to find but that giveaway will run through March 13th and just in case you don't win I also have a link to their store that gives 15% off and that link will be good through March 15th so as soon as you're finished watching this video go ahead and follow that link in the description box and enter to win a seed collection of your choice. This is harder than I thought, um, trying to decide what to plant and what not to. The majority of what I'm trying to plant are things that are, one, edible, medicinal, or things that just make me happy. Um, one thing that I will always plant is zinnias. Love zinnias so much. And they're just like a cut flower, but I'm also planting tithonia, and those are, I saved seeds from my tithonia that I got from Bobblehead Homestead. So I will definitely be planting those again. They look so pretty when you cut them. So I'm definitely gonna do those again. But I, I wanna add a whole bunch more beds out there and I actually have room to now that we've taken the middle fence down up there and I'm changing things up a little bit. So I'll show you what I have so far and what I'm thinking and what I have to like find room for still. So. Oh, I know where that loofah is going. The loofah is going back in the kids' garden. Um, and I'm just planting loofah on their trellis. Um, and this is going to kind of be just the fun garden because it's going to be the loofah and then zinnias and tithonia. I can add a garden bed here if I want to. So I can just keep that in mind that I can add something here. Or maybe I'll put... A table and chairs here or like somewhere to relax but this is the area that's shaded so that's probably where I would put a table and chairs and it'll be right next to my herb spiral the mint will still be contained I know rosemary kind of gets out of hand also so let me know about that I have a bush rosemary that I'm gonna plant there and then thyme sage basil dill oregano cilantro maybe Jay hates cilantro but sometimes I get away with cooking with it and then lavender I need to go ahead and seed start right now calendula and hibiscus which is something new I may need more growing space so I'm going to plant it all uh, we love hibiscus tea so I'm just going to try to plant my own and see how difficult it is this is my experiment this year for sure is the hibiscus this bed is for greens and radishes so we can't grow greens all year long. In the heat of the summer, they get really bolty and harsh and we can't grow radishes either. So this bed may turn into something else later on. In the big garden, I plan on potatoes, onions, and melons and maybe some different types of squash or something that I have left over. I need to get some yellow squash because I don't have any. But the current beds, when I rebuild them, these are all going to be tomatoes now on the trellises. A different thing on each, a different, a different variety on each side. I'm going to put squash in the back bed, peppers in that bed, broccoli in this bed, and then when it gets too hot, I'll put the Cherokee tans in there because they'll do fine uh, all summer long. Back here, I may do spaghetti squash and patty pans. Not sure yet. I have an empty bed here, which is strange for me, but uh, I know I'll find something to fill it up with. And then cucumber and, you know, if I have any tomato varieties that I want to do. And I could build another bed over here. It gets sun most of the day for sunflowers because I don't really have anywhere to put those yet. It's kind of a big garden and a lot to take care of. I hope I'm, my main thing is weeding in between the beds. Like it's not even weeding the beds it's making sure the weeds don't don't grow up between the beds so I need to get like a walking weed eater or something that's like easy for me to handle and probably do that or I could just like 
order some pea gravel and put it down, but that's so expensive. So if you grow a garden and you have some type of substrate in between your beds, what do you use that's a little more on the affordable side? Because I would like to get something down. The black um, landscaping paper is what we have and it's a mess out there with that. It's all over the place. It looks terrible. So I would like to cover it with some torts some sort of substrate but I just don't know what what to do so give me your suggestions please I need help <laughs> sweater I really need to go get my nails done they're way too grown out and when they get too long they start to hurt a couple of you've asked um, but getting my nails done is like the one thing that I do for me because uh, if I just have my nails painted or paint them myself as soon as I wash the dishes one time it's done for <laughs> so I've been going to get the dip powder nails since my birthday which was in September and I've really enjoyed it. I go like once or maybe twice a month. Usually just once a month. Once every three to four weeks or so. But I think we're going to go do that. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys first what... Just give you an update about this mystery illness. I'm calling it a mystery illness because um, all the doctors that I've talked to don't really know what it is. Or at least they haven't really figured it out yet. We're still waiting on my tick panel to come back. So we will see what that one says. But um, I had a rosacea breakout. So I started putting it on my face. But then I was also taking colloidal silver internally and noticed that I started feeling better. That's a couple weeks, a couple vlogs ago. I was starting to feel better. It was a weekend vlog. And then I stopped taking it. On a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I started really going downhill again. So I started taking again and noticed that whatever I have is likely bacterial because colloidal silver is like an antibacterial type of um, supplement. Uh, I've been doing this and also working on my gut bacteria. So I've been taking a probiotic and I've been drinking kombucha and cutting sugars I've noticed that if I do have sugars I feel worse and that makes a lot of sense because bacteria feeds on sugar so obviously if I have a lot of sugar then it's gonna be worse so right now I'm cutting those things and um, really just trying to heal my body the only way I know how which is naturally and we'll see what happens these are good things no matter what it is this is going to be good for me is um you know healing my gut bacteria working on that with the probiotics and the kombucha and the cutting out sugar and then um you know the colloidal silver you can actually take this daily so it's not going to hurt me at least but once we actually figure out what it is then i'll decide at that point if i want to continue going the natural route or if it is something that um you know conventional medicine if I want to go that route whatever I'll figure that out at that point but right now since no doctor will treat me I will just treat myself for now it seems to be working because I'm able to get out of bed and fix my children food and do the dishes and clean slowly but I'm able to do it so I just wanted to give you guys that update on what I've been doing Maybe it'll help one of you. I don't know. But um, 
whatever this is it, it I really feel like it could be an autoimmune thing just because of the issues I've been having with the exhaustion the rash on my leg different things like that have led me to believe that so that's why I went with probiotic healing the gut trying that route and I think I'm getting somewhere do you think mommy feels better yeah yeah okay and one day she was struggling to make lunch for us struggling you're so sweet yeah. i'm somewhere in the middle try to find myself again but life is one big riddle of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it It's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it Yeah, you should get the green ones. They match your, um, they match your mentality. <laughs> they match my mentality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back home. Poppy's here. Poppy's here for Poppy's dinner. Poppy's here. And to drop off Day Day oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. while he goes out of town. Work is work. Work is work. Work is good. Yeah, I, I know you're that sweet, baby. Get tired of 12 hour days, though. I bet. Gracious. And six day a week working. Working Poppy harder than ever. Okay. So I ended up getting these little Smith and Hawken ankle boots. They're really comfortable and they were 30 bucks. I was looking at getting some sloggers. But they're a lot more expensive, so I went ahead and got these because they're comfy and I need something to just slip on. I always get a pack of these band-aids because they're only a dollar in the Target dollar spot. So if I see the band-aids over there, I get them because my kids use them like stickers, I swear. I had to get those freezer bags, which is what I went there for. They had Frozen 2 out and they convinced me to get it. They needed new toothbrushes. They needed erasers so bad, and they were only 88 cents on clearance. I picked up some hand cream because my hands are really dry. And then I found these little magnets in the dollar spot for a dollar, and I got one for me and one for my grandma. That's kind of our saying to each other. So, pick those up. I ended up getting green nails again. I just like the way the green ones look, so that's what I did. But uh, now that we're home, the bread is looking good, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the oven and then start on my soup. I'm gonna make a Zupa Toscana copycat tonight for dinner, and it's gonna be delicious because I've made it before, so yum. I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. 
I'm going to start out my Zupa Toscana soup by chopping up about half of an onion. This is a pretty large onion here, so I actually have a quarter of it. I guess it comes out to about a third of a cup of chopped onion. And I'm just going to sweat that out in some butter. And normally you'd use uh, spicy Italian sausage, but my store didn't happen to have any. So I just have a pound of ground pork. And to that, I'll just be adding some Italian seasoning and red pepper flakes, and it worked just fine that way. I'm chopping up about four to six golden potatoes. I like to leave the skin on and cut them about a quarter to an eighth of an inch thick, so they'll cook pretty fast. So once I get my onion sweated out, I'll just add the pork with the seasonings to that. And I'm also adding a clove or two of chopped garlic. And once that's browned, I'm just going to drain it into a plate. And to my pot, I'm going to add two cups of water and four cups of chicken broth. I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the rain just fall. And to that broth, I'm going to add in our potatoes and just boil them for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're just done. And once those are finished, I add in a bunch of chopped kale and I added some spinach as well because I just like the greens. And then toss that sausage back in with a splash of cream and just kind of let it simmer a little bit longer. I just miss you. Mm, miss you. Mm, mm, miss you. Our Zupa was super good. That's one recipe that you need to try if you are a fan of soup. Don't forget to follow the link in the description box and go enter to win a Rebel Gardens seed collection of your choice. There will be three winners, so you do have a pretty good chance of winning all that. But I'll also have the link in the description box for the 15% off, so you can go take a peek of everything that they've got available. They've got some really cool seed collections like microgreens and edible flowers, an herb collection that's pretty good. Uh, lots of good stuff. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, cat. Cat's trying to eat my camera. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And give this one a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys in the comments section. Bye.